of today's stream. Hello, everyone. Oh, crap, there. I think there was another cupboard in there. There's a book called Fairy Tales. Once upon a time, some emerald moss grew quietly on some rocks west of Wormwood, waiting to be made into amazing items. Mira finds recipes for a purblind bow, a blinding bow, and a pixie boots. She also finds recipes for trixie boots, and spirit bracer, and an elfin charm. Excellent. This is Wormwood Creek. Hey, you know what? Wallace helped a foreigner. He's so naughty. The grown-ups say we should never talk to foreigners and never help them. Alright, I sense a bit of xenophobia here. Mira reads the sign. Stay off me land! Trespassers will be clobbered! Oi! What are you doing trampling over me, fearless clobber? Mongo foreigners, they're all the same. Noble dragons are bad enough. But to think we had a jet black one flying over us, all scaringly and sinister. Oh, what am I doing talking to a foreigner? What about village affairs? Forget I spoke. Oh, that's right. Reach level 15, eh? Good day, your holiness. Could you help out an old digger at and look for a precious egg for me? It thrives off its care's love and affection, see? That's what helps it to grow. The more attention you lavish on it, the faster it develops. I think you'd be able to look after the little butte for me. Should be no worries with your divine protection, eh? If you head just outside of Wormwood Creek and defend yourself from attack, say, let's say, 30 times, that'd be good enough for me. You can't just go whipping out, though. Escape from battle and it won't count. You gotta see it through to the finish. If you're gonna see the little brighter, though, through until it hatches, that's the least you're gonna have to be able to handle. Alright. Don't worry, little clobber. I'm just handing you over to this good priest. You'll be right. She'll look after you. There, it's all yours then. Don't let me down, will ya? Take good care of it till it hatches, eh? You've acquiesced to the quest. Ecclesiastics. Alright, so to do this quest, you gotta go and defend, I think, and uh, get hit. Um, naturally, since there's four people in the party, that could be a pretty annoying endeavor. Uh, one thing you can do is change all your party members to priests to go fight weak monsters. I may do that. Or you could just put two party members away and go fight monsters like Manguinis who hit four times. Oh, so you didn't cock it then? Strith, that Wallace has got a lot to answer for. Holy diddly, this is a flaming disaster. What we need is a decent warrior. Yeah, then we'd be right. Not just any old bruiser though. They'd have to be level 15 or above, I'd reckon. I saw it too, you know. The black dragon was belching flames and flew overhead. It scared me half to death. They say it was a black dragon that nearly destroyed Wormwood Creek before as well, but that was way back. It couldn't be the same one, could it? I don't know, can those dragons live this long? That's a good question. You that chatter that Wallace was helping? Strith, up in a bed already, eh? Even after all them injuries. You're an ordinary Sheila, eh? Yeah, you're a bit special, I reckon. Tell you what, if you reckon you can handle them, you should buy some of your weapons before you leave. Well, I question why you even have shops, given that I'm not really supposed to sell anything to foreigners, you know? Watching Wallace as he was helping you out before, I, I don't know, I just felt, well, it doesn't matter. But listen, as long as you don't go shouting about it, I'll let you shop here if you'd like. Alright, what do we got in our armor shop here? A warrior shield. A shield for soldiers, offering some immunity to magic attacks, okay. Dragon shield. A raging bull helm. Thinking caps, already got those. Cavalier hat, hermetic hat. Dragon mail, oh, that'll be good as well. Shipmate shirt, oh, okay. Dragon top, flowing dress. I was gonna make one of those for silly, but if I can just buy it, that's easier. Then I'll do it. That'll be good for silly, not so much for Pia. Let's get the most expensive stuff first, and that's the uh, flowing dress. We're gonna get that for silly. A consecrated costume that curves fire and ice based magic. Damage. Alright, so tonight we're gonna save up and buy all that stuff. What kind of pompous, pointless backwater is this? We don't sell to foreigners, they say. It's discrimination! I've come a long way to check out the weapons and armor they make here. It's supposed to be amazing! 
Yeah, hey, terrible tattoo. I was hunting those last night. Fuck this game. Oh, well, mini metal. Oh, that's right. I gotta go see that guy. I don't know what he's thinking, but the bloke who makes a weapon said I should let you shop here. This is the weapon shop. What can I do for you? Uh, cool swords. That looks like the Zenithian sword. Ah, Mystic. I got better than that already, though. Hand drills. Dragon Claws. Actually, you know, I may pick these up at some point just to turn them into something. I'm pretty sure I can upgrade the uh, Dragon Claws. Uh, let's see here. Uh... Yeah, okay, so I can upgrade them. I don't have the stuff to upgrade them yet, but I can upgrade them into something awesome, so... And then I can upgrow, upgrade those further. I need to get a bunch of rock bomb shards. Yep, okay. Cool. Works for me. Battle Axe, Moon Axe. Oh, they got Dragon Tail Whip, but that's not better than what I have. So yeah, we're gonna upgrade to the uh, Dragon Claws eventually, but we're gonna upgrade those further into two even better sets of claws. Oh, we forgot to click on this thing over here. Mirror examines the statue. Appears to be a guardian that's been left unattended for many years. The description of the guardian's name is so badly worn that it's impossible to read. That's unfortunate. Hello, fellow travelers. I don't know what brings you to Wormwood Creek, but I came after hearing rumors of great legends waiting to be told. But I, I might as well not have bothered. Nobody here will even give me the time of day, let alone let tell me their traditional tales. What do we got here? The mayor's pretty strict about it. We're not allowed to sell the foreigners. We'd have to be a bit of a dipstick to let a customer go when I'm desperate for business, eh? Especially since you... I have no reason for business if you're not selling to anyone. There's a book called Sun Worship and Moon Gazing. S those seeking to synthesize Lucida Shards should go to the Gleban Desert, where two essential ingredients are to be found. Miro finds recipes for Lunar Fan, Solar Fan, and Moon Axe. He also finds recipes for a full Moon Axe, a Sun Crown, and Apollo's Crown. Yeah, 240 gold coins, I'll take it. If I keep your doors closed to any folk kind from Wormwood, I'm gonna be bust. I'll be Stony Brook before long, so uh, um, Go away, you lousy, stinking foreigners! Right, this is just between you and me, you hear? Welcome to the item shop. I like this guy. Up at the old stands, the mayor's called a meeting at the church this evening. He's probably gonna be talking about that black dragon, eh? Welcomeish wandering er, foreigners. There's no seats free right now. Sorry, we uh, don't look forward to seeing you all again. Uh, don't take that the wrong way. Yeah, don't take that the wrong way. Wash that <laughs> black dragon play that, eh? If he's coming, he should come. <laughs> and if he's not coming, he shouldn't come. <laughs> if he he should come, I <laughs> should I should go. If he shouldn't <laughs> come, I shouldn't go. Should go to the dunny. <laughs> I saw the beggar, big and black and ugly he was, and it roared it did, fair dinkum. I was so stuffed I couldn't stand. Hey, you're one of them fair, fair, foreigners, eh? There's nothing behind this here bar that no foreigners can drink. Alright, fair enough. I'll steal your shit then. A mini metal, cool. I did it. You've been summoned to the meeting at the church tonight, right? <laughs> Better get a bit of a shut eye in before you go. Welcome to our end, weary travelers. We'll be staying the night or just rest until the evening. Either way, it'll only cost you 32 gold coins. Really? You're not going to cost you like 320? There's a jerks otherwise. Mm -hmm. 
Do come again. Well, that's weird. These people in this village are so rude. So, so very rude. Alright. Off we go then. Let's go check out the church. Too curious to stay away. I wanted to know what they were going to say. So far, everyone's just talking about the black dragon. The village archives tell that the Wormwood Creek's purpose is to stand guard over the way to Upover, where the Greynarl dwells. The book there depicts the hero, hero Greynarl defeating a terrifying black dragon. Impossible as it may seem, that dragon and the one that passed over the village appeared almost identical. I'm not stepping outside where there's a flaming great black dragon flying about the place. There was me thinking that black dragons were just stuff from old stories. You know, like the ones that the evil empire that used to get the black dragon to do all their dirty work for them. Never used to believe a word of it, but they say the blighter even came to attack one more creek once. Granar would have that black dragon stonk it in a flash. You don't call him the hero of the heavens for nothing. My problem is, how are we going to get the word to him? Even if one of us is brave enough to brave the bush, there's Wormwood Canyon to get over. You've heard of Wormwood Canyon, right? The up a great ravine west of here? There you are. Right. I'm the only one. I'm only interested in hearing about one thing from you. The Black Dragon. Not long before you washed up on our shores, we saw it flying over the village. You're not trying to... You're not trying to tell us you had nothing to do with it, are you? Oh, really? So you're saying you were attacked by the dragon, then that's how you ended up here. Don't come to raw prong with us, Missy. There's no way you'd have survived if you'd been attacked by a dragon. Yeah, don't listen to a word of it. It's all stinking foreign lies. We're gonna have to assume that you and the Black Dragon are working together. Please be fair, give her the benefit of the doubt. Why won't any of you believe what she says? Why are you so suspicious of her? Because she's not one of us, she's a foreigner. Foreigner, 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 that's all I ever hear from any of you, it's just so unfair. Yeah, fuck off, Wally. You have no idea what's going on. The dragon looked like it was heading for up over. That's Green Arrow's neck of the woods. The hero of the heavens might stand a chance, but there ain't much us mere mortals can do. If we could count on his help, that'd be one thing, but all we know, that's not likely. Anyway, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave Wormwood Creek now, before something nasty happens. Well, he's only just come to Wormwood himself. Little Ron's not used to the way things work around here yet. He's a foreigner too, for now at least. That's why he's taken to you, I reckon. I think you'll like him. Hope the little squirt hasn't been yabbing about village affairs to you. Sorry, darling, but you won't find no mates here. The village was destroyed once before because of foreigners. Years ago, there was this bloke who came and swept the mayor's daughter off her feet. They say he was the root of all the trouble. But they also say the fella had wings. I don't know how much you can believe those old stories, you know? You're working with the dragon, that's why we found you wounded outside the village. The question is, where did Wally go? Me and a no joke, mate. It's hard yakka day and night. I heard there was a meeting going on at the church. Still, if that's the mayor's territory, I ain't got no time to be gabbing. We got a legend here in Wormwood Creek that's supposed to help people on their way to up over. We're not allowed to go blunt it to foreigners. It's the law. Alright, well fine, fuck your law. If you're looking for Wallace, he just went running off in tears. Gone to Hope Springs, most likely. He always hides himself there whenever he spit the dummy. I'd leave him alone if I was you, Kaba. Hmm? Where's Hope Springs? Go over the bridge north of the village, just follow your nose. Can't miss it. Well, before we do that, before I forget, let's go to Dower Bridge. We're gonna go turn in our mini medals before I keep forgetting to do so. Oh, 
Alright. And... Ahoy there! I be Captain Max Medlin, swashbuckle and seafan and collector of only the miniest of medals. Alright, so you brought me some beloved mini medals. Maximal respect. Hand them over now. So that's 22 you brought me all together. I'm a man of my words, so here's some booty I promised you. For 18 medals, you get Jolly jo Roger Jumper. Excellent. That's 22 mini medals I've had off you. That's no minimal amount. And when it reaches 25, you'll have me maximal respect. A pair of transparent tights to boost. Transparent tights. Lovely. Excellent. Perfect. Okay, off we go then. Off we go then. Let's go back to Wormwood Creek. We're gonna be heading north anyway, so let's see what kind of new monsters we got here. Alright. Instead of sluggers, we get... Slugger knot and spider horns. Slugger knot does the sultry dance. It's silly does not get into the groove. Attack Pia. Ah, well. Hey! Trife's level increases to 33. All of his stats except magical might go up. He's got quite a bit of strength. Beefs aren't bad in this game. I like him. Six skill points earned. Okay, that's going to put our claw skills up to 68, leaving us eight points away from attack plus 30 with claws. Not that he needs it. You're not new. Aha, here's something new. I don't really like these guys, they're annoying, but... A whirly girly! And it's dead already. We defeated it. We win. Hi, Medley! How's it going? Sorry to tell you, Kikia, we only got about uh, 12 minutes left of stream today, but... Uh... It's still nice to see you stop by. Let's explore the area here in the meantime. Oh shit. Did not mean to run into that. <laughs> How's class today though? Board is fucking still have an hour left. I'm sorry to hear that. It happens, it happens. But that's the nature of school. They teach you to test, they don't teach you to learn. Oh, this guy chased me, alright. I think I fought you guys before. How long can I get keep this slugger art going for? And he's gaining on me again. Oh, I did it! Did the deke! Ah, oh, he got me. I kept him going for a while, though. Ah, oh, Grim Grinners, doesn't he? Yeah, 
Piamat defense. Notice how nothing's attacking Piamat now. Gold to be to be had here. What's this? What's this? Superior medicine in the air. I'll take superior medicines. Big Grammy HP, I think. There's two people playing Terraria in class. I feel like in classes where laptops are uh, something you see a lot of, uh, you're going to see a lot of people playing games. Uh, my friend and I, we sat in front of this guy. Um, he was a little strange. He taps my friend on the shoulder and he's like, Hey, is an RPG good uh, to blow up a Walmart? Uh, we had some questions for him. Oh, they're attacking Pia! Yeah! That's one. Or, uh, because I took Law and Security Administration. And our teacher was asking us, uh, or was telling us about um, arson and how um, usually, uh, well, arson is isn't in, in the intent is to cause flame and uh, flames and damages. And she was explaining how many ways that it can be done. And she was explaining that uh, often there's a trigger involved with uh, any explosive device. And he puts up his hand and tells her that Mercury switches work better. <laughs> the look on my teacher's face is just... Okay. And then she just, like, goes back to what she's saying. <laughs> she doesn't even acknowledge him. Hey, six points until we... Uh, two more points until we learn Twin Dragon Lash. Unfortunately, I won't get any more points on the next level. It's unfortunate, but... Defended against a monster's attack two times! That's two times, guys! We need 28 more. I uh, took a defensive tactics course, and uh, hang on, I'll explain after. There's a hole in the rock. It looks like it might just be uh, big enough to squeeze through. Enter inside. The mirror squeezes through the hole. Fuck you, Wally. There's treasure. Oh, a Lucida shark. Cool. Oh, hello, Miro. You came looking for me, did you? Listen, I'm terribly sorry for running out like that. People in the village hate outsiders, you see. Years ago, a woman here brought an outsider back, and it ended really badly. I'm an outsider too, you know. The town I come from is miles away, but my uncle lives here, and he took me in when... Anyway, they told you to leave Woomer Creek, didn't they? So, what do you intend to do now? If you pursue that black dragon, you'll probably end up flattened again, won't you? Oh, I know. Why don't you try to get the Grain Arl to help you? I mean, you have to find your way to the Upover, but I can I can help you out with that part. There's a secret bit of Wormwood Creek folklore about it. I'm not supposed to tell anyone, but, well, it goes like this. When he who speaks seeks the way to Upover appears, open the gates of Wormwood with the light guarded by the Sentry Statue. Apparently, the Sentry Statue is in a, a place called the Bow Hole to the west of here. Oh, but the entrance is a, to it is sealed up, and I don't think anyone knows how to open it anymore. 
bother. Son, I thought I found a way I could help you. I come unstuck at the last hurdle. What a fool I am. I suppose I'll just have to go back to the village and see if I can't find some other way to assist you. Alright. That happened. So, yeah, I took a defensive tactics course. Oh, you fucker. Yeah. <sighs> back here again. Why can't I find him? Oh, it's you, haven't we? Oh, you can see me! I've been invisible to everyone else. My name is Serena. I wonder, could I ask you a favor? It's something I can't do myself now. I left something of mine back in Wormwood Creek, something really important. Could you get it for me? Look around at the foot of the Guardian statue. That's where I hid it. Now please, help me. Bring it to me here. Anyway, so yeah, I took a defensive tactics course. And uh, handcuffing was one of the things that uh, they were teaching us. And this guy that I've been talking about told us that he could break out of handcuffs. And our teacher was adamant that it wasn't possible. But uh, so we put up our hand and tell the teacher that uh, this guy claims that he can break out of handcuffs. So the teacher, the professor, calls him up to the front of the class and tells him to demonstrate his ability to break out of the handcuffs. So, this guy takes out his own handcuffs that he has on him for some reason, and starts to put them on, and the teacher's like, no, no, use my handcuffs, not your own, and the, the guy just completely ignores the professor. He puts on his own handcuffs, reaches into his pocket, pulls out the key, and then unlocks them with the, the hang, and then puts his hands up like he just did something amazing. <laughs> and the teacher's like, get off my stage. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta check in front of the guardian statue. Mirror examines the statue. It looks very badly neglected to stay attached of a guardian. So let's have a lump of rock. It's the guardian says that ghostly ghost was on about. Let's have a look then. I can't see anything. Oi, Mirror, don't just stand there twirl twirling your thumbs. Help me look. Mirror examines the ground at the foot of the statue, but there's nothing to be found. See, I told you, Squiddly Dot. You think she's been leading us up to the Guardian Path? Oh, well, obviously, I suppose, but... Mira, what are you up to? What's so interesting about the Guardian statue? Oh, it... Does it hide some sort of super secret or something? Oh, you're looking for something, are you? And you thought it was buried around here? But it wasn't here after all, hmm? I'll tell you what I think. I've actually been thinking about this for a while now. Back where I came from, the Guardian statue was has the top spot in town, you know, and everyone looks after it. But this village is shoved way back here, left to right. It's rather odd, don't you think? If you ask me, I'd say it used to be somewhere else. You know, somewhere a little more central, where people could admire it. Oh no, I forgot. I'm supposed to be doing some shopping for my uncle. I mean, Mayor Doffish. You fucking asshole. Stop jumping back up. What was it he wanted me to get it again? Oh no, I'll have to go back and ask him. He'll go through the roof. Strange boy. But you know, the little squirt might be onto something. Maybe this statue was somewhere else before. Either way, it's not here. So we might as well go and have a goose somewhere else. Yeah, uh, it was a very, very funny uh, thing to view. And I don't know why so many people have them. I gotta get word to Grey now about the Black Dragon somehow. But that flaming fissure in the landscape's blocking the way. There's no way over Wormwood Canyon. They used to be able to cross in the olden days, apparently, but not anymore. Yeah, they, uh... The teacher had handcuffs because he was teaching us how to, uh, properly handcuff someone. And, uh, something called the Iron Rest Takedown. The space where you see the stone was once on... Never mind, my child, this is not something to worry the minds of passers through. No, no, no! I'm not listening. I'm not listening. La, la, la. All right. The stone at the back of the church was put there around the time I was born. I don't know what used to be there before that. 
There's a book called Items You Won't Encounter Anywhere Else. Unlike those in this book, many recipes are for items you can't buy in shop. You can buy in shops. Think carefully before using valuable ingredients. You can find recipes for Soul Breaker, a King Axe, the Razor Wing, Boomerang. You can find recipes for Tempest Shield, Raging Bull Helm, and Payback Pumps. The stone stands in place of an abomination that brought disaster on our village. Trust outsiders at your peril. Fellowship starts and ends at home. Miros notices a gap beneath the stone. Investigate further. Something sparkles beneath the tombstone. Miros gropes around under the stone. She finds a necklace. Miro acquires the serene necklace. What we do with that? You'll have to wait till Monday. That's where we're gonna end the stream, I think. Let's just make sure I can leave the village. I need to do much leveling tonight, so... By much leveling, I'm just gonna get like two levels, but... I need to do gold farming to buy all the stuff I want from the shop here. I need to... Make Miro's whip, so hopefully I can get the item that I want. Anyway, everyone, I hope you enjoyed my stories today. Uh, tomorrow we'll be back with more Final Fantasy XIV from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, that's going to be the new time for that. I know my offline screen doesn't say that, so uh, Payment's going to update that for me eventually. Um, we are probably going to be shifting Dragon Final Fantasy Explorers to Thursdays as well. Same relative time, just on Thursday, because uh, I'm setting a new gym schedule that takes us Monday, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And it cuts into uh, Final Fantasy Explorers. Uh, Sunday, Silly should be back for FF11, he said. Uh, other than that, new uh, Diablo 3 season starts tonight, so those of you that will be playing that, have fun. Thank you for viewing, everyone. Have a good one. See you later.